These remarkable helicopters combine cutting-edge technology and engineering genius to achieve mind-blowing speeds. From military machines to civilian choppers, these helicopters push the boundaries of what's possible in aviation. Buckle up, join me, we're gonna count down the top 15 fastest helicopters in the world. Number 15, Sikorsky UH-60 Blackhawk. By the late 1960s, the United States Army was looking for a new design of helicopter to replace the Bell UH-1 Iroquois, and based on experiences in Vietnam and other deployments, released a request for proposals in 1972 for what they called the Utility Tactical Transport Aircraft System. Focusing heavily on reliability, affordability, speed, and endurance, the eventual result was the UH-60 Blackhawk, which is manufactured by Sikorsky and first entered service in June of 1979. Measuring 64 feet 10 inches long and powered by two General Electric T700 turboshaft engines, the UH-60 is operated by a crew of two pilots and two gunners. It's got a maximum internal cargo capacity of 3,200 pounds and can operate with a top speed of about 183 miles an hour. It's got a combat range of 370 miles, which can be extended to a ferry range of 1,380 miles with additional fuel tanks. They're also fitted with two M240 machine guns, two mini guns or Gatling guns, and have four hard points to allow them to carry rockets, missiles, or bombs. The Black Hawk's adaptability has been invaluable ever since it was first flown, and it's probably now the most well-known military helicopter of all. More than 5,000 have been produced, with a number of upgraded versions being designed to incorporate the latest tech, and as well as the US, a further 33 nations use them in their military operations too. Number 14, NH Industries NH-90. First developed in the late 1980s to provide NATO countries with a helicopter that could operate on battlefields as well as in naval environments, the NH-90 built by NH Industries took a long time in testing before it was finally deployed for the first time in 2007. Measuring about 53 feet long and powered by two Rolls-Royce Turbomeca RTM-322 turboshaft engines, it's operated by two pilots and a loadmaster, and can carry 20 troops or two NATO pallets. It's able to operate at speeds of up to 190 miles an hour with a range of about 620 miles, but despite these performance figures, everything hasn't exactly been smooth sailing for the NH-90. It's the first production helicopter to have entirely fly-by-wire flight controls, and this system is thought to be the main reason for a series of technical issues that prevented them from entering service sooner, and continue to cause problems for operators today. Furthermore, each client needs to adapt its setup to be compatible with other systems, which can be a timely and costly process. So in 2022, Norway ended plans to introduce the NH-90 and has demanded a full refund. Whereas Australia has already signaled an intent to stop using them 10 years earlier than was originally planned. 12 countries still use them as troop transport helicopters though, but with faster and more reliable models now available, it looks as if the NH-90 will be a surprisingly short-lived one. Number 13, the Eurocopter AS-365 Dolphin. Developed in the 1970s and entering service in 1978, the Eurocopter AS-365 Dolphin is a versatile medium-sized twin-engine helicopter that's earned a reputation for its exceptional performance, safety, and adaptability across a range of mission profiles. While it itself isn't being produced anymore after more than 1,100 were built and delivered to customers, its legacy lives on as it's been the basis of all the latest designs that Airbus Helicopters has revealed in recent years. Particularly known for its distinctive streamlined design, which leads to its excellent aerodynamic and flight capability. It's powered by two Turbomeca aerial turboshaft engines, which are renowned for their reliability and fuel efficiency, making the Dolphin an economical choice for operators. They're also pretty powerful and give this thing a top speed of 190 miles an hour, with a range of 514 miles. In its traditional setup, the cabin has space for 11 or 12 passengers, but there are a number of variants that are available that are more specific, such as several military versions designed to operate in extreme environments, a search and rescue version with a hoist and flotation system, and an ultra-luxury one for corporate clients. Law enforcement versions have been created too, featuring cameras, communication systems, and other monitoring equipment. With so many having been built and hundreds of thousands of flight hours clocked between them, the AS-365 Dolphin is a tried and tested helicopter that has an exceptional safety record. With safety features such as redundant systems, crash-resistant fuel tanks, and advanced avionics for enhanced awareness, there have only been two major incidents in more than 45 years of operation, which is almost unheard of with helicopters. Number 12. Augusta Westland AW-139 
also known as the Leonardo AW-139. The Augusta Westland 139 is a medium-sized helicopter that was designed in the late 1990s to be a replacement for an already successful model that would become a versatile choice for civilian and military customers. With uses such as VIP transport, offshore transport, law enforcement, search and rescue, disaster relief, maritime patrol, and emergency medical transport, it's more than lived up to its aim. And after first entering service in 2003, more than 1,100 have been built and sold to customers. It measures 54 feet 8 inches in length and can be flown by a crew of one or two pilots. It's powered by two Pratt & Whitney Canada PT-6 turboshaft engines and can be configured to carry up to 15 passengers while being able to reach a top speed of 193 miles an hour over a range of 659 miles. Particularly popular in the offshore and gas industry, it's not just the capabilities of this thing that's led to so much success, but the way that it flies. It's been described as being docile and predictable, which is something you'd want, especially with passengers or medical patients on board, and means it's a relatively comfortable ride even if the weather conditions are challenging. With specialized models also available such as the heavy-lifting AS-149 and the military-spec AW-139M with infrared cameras, armored seats, self-sealing fuel tanks, and plenty more upgrades, AW-139s are being flown all around the world in a range of different capacities and are seen as one of the best ways in class for what they offer. Number 11. Augusta Westland AW-159 Wildcat Designed as a successor to the earlier Lynx helicopter, the Wildcat was designed for use by British Army and Navy and first entered service in 2014. Now also used by the South Korean Navy and the Philippine Navy, it features state-of-the-art avionics, a redesigned airframe, and enhanced performance. And it's known for its agility and versatility and allows it to take on a variety of roles, such as anti-surface warfare, anti-submarine warfare, troop transport, and reconnaissance. Measuring 50 feet long, it's powered by two turboshaft engines that give it a top speed of 193 miles an hour and a range of up to 483 miles. Armed with a pintle-mounted machine gun along with a variety of missiles, torpedoes, and depth charges depending on mission requirements, it's operated by two pilots and can carry up to five passengers along with a door gunner. This design makes it particularly effective for anti-submarine warfare, as it's fitted with a flash-dipping sonar array, an air-to-surface multifunction radar, sonar buoys, and various other high-tech avionics systems. These two means it has non-combative abilities as well, and it's often used in search and rescue missions, with an ability to operate in adverse weather conditions. Its flexible cabin configuration allows it to carry medical personnel and equipment for medical evacuation missions, so it's prepared to respond quickly to anything. Number 10. The Kamov KA-52 Alligator the KA-52 is a highly effective attack helicopter that was developed during the late 1980s and early 1990s by the Russian aerospace company Kamov. Often referred to as the Alligator, it's a twin-seat derivative of the KA-50 Hokum, which had entered service several years earlier. The main difference between it and its predecessor is the side-by-side -side cockpit arrangement, which provides excellent visibility for both the pilot and the gunner, which enables improved coordination during complex combat missions. At just over 44 feet long, it's powered by two TV-3 turboshaft engines, and these allow it to reach a top speed of 196 miles per hour, and it has a range of up to 339 miles. It's fitted with a 30mm cannon and six underwing hardpoints that are compatible with munitions such as S-8 rockets, APU-6 missile racks, various bombs and gun pods, which can be customized due to operational needs. With avionics and targeting systems that make it highly effective in both day and night operations, it's equipped with a mass-mounted radar that provides 360-degree coverage and allows it to detect and engage multiple targets simultaneously. And it also features an advanced electronic warfare suite and countermeasures to protect against enemy threats. Now, this sensor suite also makes it useful for reconnaissance missions, so it's a valuable asset for battlefield intelligence gathering. It's for this reason that it's been an important component of the Russian military since the Syrian Civil War in 2015. Also used by the Army of North Macedonia and the Egyptian Air Force, there are three specialized versions of the base design. The Nile Crocodile that's been specialized for the Egyptian military, the Catron, that's a naval iteration, and recently announced the KA-52M, which is a new upgraded version that has an electro-optical targeting turret, stronger undercarriage wheels, and compatibility with a wider range of armaments. Number 9. Boeing CH-47F Chinook 
probably one of the most well-known military aircraft of all. The first designs for the Boeing CH-47 Chinook were drawn up in the late 1950s, and the helicopter first entered service just a few years later in 1962. Since then, more than 1,200 of them have been delivered to militaries around the world, where it continues to act as a workhorse thanks to it remaining one of the most powerful heavy lift helicopters available. Its power comes from the tandem rotor system, with two large rotors mounted one in front of the other. This provides increased lift and load carrying capacity, allowing the Chinook to transport heavy payloads, including vehicles, artillery, and a large number of troops. It's actually rated to carry as many as 55 troops, or payloads weighing up to 24,000 pounds, and has proven to be such an effective design that it and the C-130 Hercules are the only military aircraft designed at that time that are still in service today. The Chinook has, of course, undergone multiple upgrades and improvements over the years, with the F variant being the latest and most advanced version. Upgrades compared to the first ones include a modernized cockpit with advanced avionics, enhanced communication systems, and improved situational awareness tools, which not only improve the helicopter's capability, but also reduce the workload on the flight crew, so it's more efficient and safe to operate. It's always been a fast model, too, but with the newest version, which is 98 feet long, it's powered by two Lycoming T-55 turboshaft engines which, by providing 4,700 shaft horsepower, means that it's capable of reaching top speeds of up to 196 miles an hour, over a range of 460 miles. As a transport helicopter, it's not equipped with as many weapons as other designs, but it can be fitted with up to three pintle-mounted machine guns, which give cover fire to allow it to deploy into hostile regions. As the development of a replacement would be extremely expensive and wouldn't necessarily produce a design as reliable or as effective as the Chinook, it's expected that updated versions will continue being released during the coming decades, with at least 22 militaries using them as a core component of their capability. Number 8. Mil Mi-28 Known by NATO as the Havoc, the Mil Mi-28 is a full-on attack helicopter that was designed for just that one role, rather than having any secondary uses. Built at the Mil Moscow helicopter plant, it's one of the most important attack helicopters that's operated by Russia, and is particularly known for its potent firepower, advanced avionics, maneuverability, and exceptional survivability in combat. With a rugged design featuring extensive armor protection for the crew and its vital systems, it can withstand direct hits by small arms fire and even some forms of anti-aircraft weapons. It's equipped with a 30mm Shupanov 2A42 autocannon, which is mounted beneath the fuselage, and a wider range of guided and unguided munitions, including anti-tank guided missiles and air-to-air -air missiles. It's also equipped with advanced avionics and sensor systems, including a mast-mounted radar for target detection and tracking, infrared and electro-optical sensors, and a laser rangefinder slash designator, all of which give the helicopter excellent situational awareness, allowing it to be highly effective in both day and night operations and through virtually any weather. With a length of 55 feet 10 inches, its effectiveness on the battlefield is complemented by its two Klimov TV3-117 turboshaft engines, which give it a maximum speed of 200 miles an hour and a range of up to 270 miles. Also operated by the air forces of Algeria, Iraq, and potentially a number more, 126 are known to have been built, and they remain as dominant a presence on the battlefield as the day they first took flight. Moving on to number 7, Eurocopter EC-155 The Eurocopter EC-155, which is now known as the Airbus Helicopter H-155, was developed by the European aerospace manufacturer Eurocopter to be a long-range, medium-lift passenger aircraft for civilian use. As such, it's got an impressively spacious and comfortable cabin, which is designed to accommodate up to 12 passengers in a corporate configuration, but can be adapted as needed to however a client may wish. With priority put into ensuring the interior is as luxurious and quiet, it's ideal for executive and VIP transport and provides a stable ride experience. At 46 feet 11 inches long, it's powered by two Turbo Mecha aerial turboshaft engines that give it a range of 533 miles and a never exceed speed rating of 201 miles an hour. First entering service in 1999, the EC-155 was the latest version of the highly successful Dolphin range of helicopters but with significant number of improvements beyond its power. It has, for example, 30% more interior space than previous models, also featuring a fully glass cockpit so the pilots have a better view along with improved avionics, a stronger ally used in the rotor blades, and an anti-icing system so it can operate in freezing temperatures. It's no surprise that this has become such a popular model. 
In all, five different variants are available, depending on the intended use, with options such as the passenger version, the VIP one which has a large VIP lounge instead of the main cabin, a casualty transport iteration with space for two people on stretchers and four medical staff, and ones created for offshore and police use. Number 6. The Westland Lynx First entering use in 1978, the Westland Lynx is a British-designed and built multi-purpose helicopter that was originally intended to be a support vehicle for civil and naval use. But after interest from several militaries, a battlefield variant was developed too. At 50 feet long, it's powered by two T-800 turboshaft engines. It is a famously nimble and fast helicopter that's able to reach speeds of over 200 miles an hour, over a range of 328 miles and it's fully aerobatic, so it can perform stunts like loops and rolls. A one-off Lynx was also built in 1986 that broke the record for the fastest speed attained by a helicopter in its category, clocking in at just over 249 miles an hour, which is a record that it still holds to this day. The reason for its speed and agility is its sleek and streamlined design, with a rotor system featuring four-bladed main and tail rotors that are specifically designed for high-performance flight. It's able to carry eight people or about 3,000 pounds of cargo, and more than 450 of them were built, and they soon became popular for civilian uses, such as transport to offshore rigs, medical evacuation, or utility transport. While in military roles, it's been found to be particularly effective in anti-submarine warfare. Additionally, the Lynx can carry out a range of other missions, including troop transport, search and rescue, and reconnaissance. For a time, the British, French, Danish, and Argentinian navies all had a number of lynxes in operation, and while they've now retired all of theirs in favor of newer models like the Wildcat, there are still at least nine other navies around the world that continue to use them, such as those of Brazil, South Africa, Malaysia, Germany, and South Korea. Number 5. Airbus H160 First showcased by Airbus in 2015, and with the first delivered to customers in 2021, the H-160 is a medium-sized utility helicopter that, according to the company, is the most advanced commercially available model in its class. Powered by twin turboshaft engines, which provide excellent power-to-weight ratios, reduced fuel consumption, and lower emissions compared to previous models, it measures 45 feet 10 inches long, and it's able to reach a top speed of 201 miles an hour, with a range of up to 550 miles. Featuring a spacious and modular cabin, it was designed with passenger comfort and flexibility in mind, and can accommodate up to 12 passengers in a corporate configuration. The cabin can, though, be easily reconfigured for various missions, including emergency medical services, search and rescue, offshore transportation, and law enforcement, with the hope being that it'll become the preferred choice for all of these uses. In the cockpit, it's equipped with state-of-the-art avionics, including the Helionics Digital Avionics Suite that includes four large, high-def touchscreen displays, offering intuitive controls and data presentation for the pilot. The system also integrates various safety features, including a four-axis autopilot, enhanced situational awareness, and synthetic vision, not only ensuring a safe and comfortable ride, but also allowing it to fly in challenging environments. As a relatively new aircraft, the popularity of the H-160 is yet to be seen, but it's being pitched as the successor to models like the EC-155. It's likely to be Eurocopter's flagship product in the coming years. Number 4. The Mil Mi-35 Hind Designed and built in the Soviet Union at the Mil Moscow helicopter plant in the late 1960s, the heavily armed Mi-35 Hind has since earned a reputation as one of the most fearsome attack helicopters in the world. Featuring a distinctive tandem rotor design, it measures 65 feet long and is powered by two Isotoff turboshaft engines. It's able to travel over a range of 280 miles at speeds of up to 208 miles per hour. The Mi-35 Hind was specifically created to take on multiple roles, so while it's particularly good for ground attack missions and able to provide close air support to ground forces, it can be adapted for any arena. Armed with an array of weaponry including rockets, anti-tank guided missiles, and a 23mm twin-barreled cannon, the Mi-35 can also carry up to eight troops and as much as 5,200 pounds of cargo on an external sling. First entering service in 1972, it can operate in diverse environments, from scorching deserts to freezing Arctic conditions, and can withstand significant battle damage and harsh weather. And in all, more than 2,600 of them have been built so far. Over the years, several variants of the Hind have been developed, each with enhancements in avionics, weapon systems, and performance, ensuring that this is still a highly effective model that will continue to be produced for many years to come. Number 3. Sikorsky X-2 
first taking to the sky in 2008, the X-2 was designed and built by Sikorsky Aircraft in Connecticut and was an experimental helicopter that pushed the boundaries of speed and performance to the limit. Developed with a budget of just $50 million, concepts were taken from several previous projects and blended together just to see what was possible. In the end, only one X-2 was ever built, and it was retired in 2011, but it showed what could be done if speed was prioritized over everything else. Using a six-bladed pusher propeller and two contra-rotating four-bladed rotors, most of the power from the single T-800 turboshaft engine was pushed to the propeller in forward flight, and unusually for a helicopter, it needed more power reaching higher speed than it did when hovering. This, of course, made it somewhat tricky to fly, which is why, despite being a relatively small craft, it needed two pilots to operate. Ultimately, though, it proved its aim and was able to reach an impressive top speed of 290 miles per hour, although with a range of up to 35 miles, it wasn't practical for any real-world uses. What the program did do, though, was develop systems that would be useful for the new generation of helicopters. It, for example, emphasized fly-by-wire tech and advanced rotor control systems, which were used to provide precise control and stability even at high speeds. New advanced avionics and autopilot systems were developed to enhance its ease of operation and safety, which, combined with its coaxial rotor system, which offered reduced complexity and increased efficiency, is promising for future designs to be used in a wide range of applications, including military recon, medical evac, and search and rescue missions. From the start, there was no intention of the X-2 becoming commercially viable, but as a testbed for new ideas, it advanced what's possibly significant, and Sikorsky will benefit from this for a long time to come. Number 2. Eurocopter X-3 The Eurocopter X-3, later known as the Airbus Helicopters X-3, was an experimental high-speed hybrid helicopter that aimed to bridge the gap between conventional helicopters and fixed-wing craft. It was based on the company's AS-365 Dauphin design, along with elements from the EC-155, and the only one to be built after its maiden flight in 2010 before being retired in 2013, after setting a new helicopter speed record. The unique thing about the X-3's design was that it featured two sets of rotors, a traditional main rotor system to provide the lift, and a pair of forward-facing propellers, similar to those on a prop plane, to provide additional thrust. This hybrid configuration allowed the X-3 to combine the hovering and vertical takeoff and landing capability of helicopters with the forward flight and speed of a fixed-wing craft. This setup is what's known as a compound helicopter, and during a test flight in June of 2013, the X-3 reached a max speed of 293 miles an hour, which was an unofficial speed record. This was made possible by the two powerful Rolls-Royce RTM-322 engines that each produce over 2,200 horsepower, along with a newly designed compound within the rotor blades that allowed them to handle the increased loads. Almost surprisingly, the pilots reported the ride of the X-3 to be very smooth. Even though it didn't have any passive or active anti-vibration systems or sustainability augmentation, because these functions were essentially being provided by the forward-facing rotors and the short-span wings at the rear. After demonstrating the X-3 around the world and showing it to be more reliable and effective than Sikorsky's X-2, Airbus retired the prototype, and it's now on display at an aircraft museum near Marseille in southern France. It's unlikely that a commercial version that prioritizes speed to such an extent will become available, but the plan is for consumer versions to be produced and targeted at industries like the offshore oil market and search and rescue. In 2017, a variant of the X-3 called the Racer was revealed by Airbus that builds on what the companies learned in the X-3 project. Eventually intended to be made available to customers, it will reportedly have a cruising speed of 249 miles an hour, which will eclipse anything that's being offered by any of their competitors. Number 1. The Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey Officially, it's classed as being a tilt-rotor aircraft because it takes the best functionalities of a helicopter and combines them with the long-range efficiency and speed of a turboprop-propped aircraft. The Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey first began developments in the 1980s and entered service in 2007. Since then, more than 400 have been built, and they're becoming increasingly important to the U.S. Marine Corps, Air Force, and Navy, as well as the Japanese Self-Defense Force. At 62 feet 8 inches long and with a wingspan measuring 45 feet 10 inches, it's powered by two Rolls-Royce engines that have the ability to produce 6,100 horsepower each, giving the Osprey a top speed of 351 miles per hour over a range of over 1,000 miles. It is actually the world's first production tilt-rotor aircraft and certainly looks like a hybrid between a helicopter and a plane. 
On each of its wings, it has a three-bladed prop rotor and engine that can change their orientation as needed. During takeoff, for example, it'll usually act as a helicopter with the blades facing upwards, but the nacelles can rotate forward 90 degrees in just 12 seconds. They can have a variety of orientations depending on the type of performance that's needed, and there's still lots to be learned about the full potential of the design. There are some setbacks too, namely in the way that the exhaust heat is channeled, with portable heat shields currently being used to protect the flight decks and coatings. Designed first and foremost as a military craft, it's got a capacity for up to 32 troops, or in a different configuration, an M1161 Growler ground vehicle, or up to 20,000 pounds of cargo. As you'd expect, the V-22 Osprey is equipped with advanced avionics and systems, including a modern glass cockpit and integrated flight control systems, all of which combine to provide an exceptional awareness and enhance the pilot's ability to operate safely. It is designed to be a transport and support aircraft, but can be equipped with an M240 machine gun or an M2 Browning machine gun on the ramp, along with a belly-mounted GAU-17 minigun, meaning it's able to enter hostile territory and hold its own while it drops off or picks up its cargo. For this, its vertical and short takeoff and landing ability is crucial to its effectiveness, as it's able to operate from a variety of platforms, including amphibious assault ships, aircraft carriers, and austere landing zones, expanding its versatility and its reach. I'll see you guys next time. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more Top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos. Thank you to our channel members.